Uh, okay, so today I'm going to show you how to install the Datasets Tool Library. Um, again, this is a library that uh, I use pretty frequently in my machine learning work. Um, it allows you to do some like bulk uh, resizing, cropping, other things that are really helpful when you have a ton of images and you don't want to just open them up in Photoshop and use them, uh, do a task like one by one. Uh, so that's me really. This is really time saving. Um, I built up a bunch of different uh, tools within this. Um, you're welcome to use other things. Um, there's no requirement to use this, but uh, I think you'll find that this is really helpful for certain tasks. Um, so the first thing let's do is let's just install this. Um, if you're already using, if you're in one of my classes and you've already uh, used the install scripts, this is probably already installed, um, but actually you might need to do a git pull just to get the latest. Um, but just in case, like let's just walk through how to install this. Um, so you're gonna come to the GitHub page, this is URL. I'll put it in the YouTube comments as well. Um, you'll come here, and the first thing you'll see at the top of the page here is installation. Um, I already have this installed on my local machine, so I'm just going to choose a new location to install it. Uh, so actually, why don't I just install it at my root folder in my directory. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is I need to clone this library. Um, so the thing you want to do is you want to copy and paste this URL, and then you're going to type in git clone, and you're going to paste this in. Um, and then once you have this, you should be able to cd into data set tools. Uh, and that, remember the thing that you can do is as you start typing, you can hit tab and that will autocomplete. So now we're in here and if I do an ls, I'll see that there are a number of files in here. Um, the next thing that I need to do, uh, now that I've cd'd in, is I need to install the uh, particular dependencies. Um, if this is the first time you're using this on your local computer, uh, I highly recommend that you look into a t uh, some tools or environments to manage your Python installations. Um, basically, if you, especially if you're on a Mac, there is there are a lot of issues with um, Python 2 versus Python 3. You want to be using Python 3 for pretty much everything going forward. Um, Python 2 has been deprecated now, uh, but Mac still ships with it, so it's a little bit of an issue. I'll post a link to uh, a good uh, tutorial that I found that I've been using with my students um, to sort of get you set up there. But just make sure that you're in Python 3 because if you're not, this will be pretty messy. So you're going to take this command. You're going to come back here. You want to make sure you're in your data set tool folder. You're going to paste this. Uh, because I've already installed this, I'm guessing that this will basically show every, like it'll basically say I've already installed all these requirements. For you, you might see something different. So but you're still going to run this command. You're going to paste it. Um, as you'll see, this has already been satisfied. So this is everything you need to do. Um, you're now installed and ready to go. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you some different usages for this uh, data set tools library, um, mostly looking at cropping and resizing.